guys, Sam from Walkgate Studios. How you doing? Uh, this is gonna be a video on Necron Warriors and getting them looking pretty swanky. Um, I was gonna be uh, going from Prime right the way up, but I had some camera difficulties, so the video that I shot from, from Prime up to this part was, was awful. Um, so uh, just to kind of get you up to date on what I've done on this model so far, Black Prime, um, and then a base coat of silver, uh, lead, be lead belcher, citadel silver, um, all over, nice consistency, um, just, just getting everything blocked in. Um, and then I have used uh, a paint called Brass Scorpion, this one here, um, just on, on some of the parts there, just to, to kind of uh, get some of the joints um detailed and and blocked in as well um and then i've also used a uh, wraith bone base which is a contrast base color um to uh to block in uh, some bone parts on his helmet and uh his chest piece as well um and that's really where i'm at at the moment i am um now ready to start using some some contrast paints i'm going to give the uh, bone color just a one more coat of paint on there just because at the moment it's it's a very thin paint um it's in more in line with the kind of airbrush um side of, uh, of consistency so with that in mind you do need to give it two thin coats and uh get that on there as well um and just just get that solid blocked in bone color ready to go for a contrast paint um but once that's done um, and drying, it it takes a little bit longer to dry contrast paint because of just the consistency of it is a bit thinner. Um, but um, but yeah, once that's ready to go, uh, we are good. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a nice a large coat of um, quick shade uh, by Army Painter, which is a, a black um wash and it's a super super good a hell of a lot cheaper than games workshops um non oil and i actually like the consistency a little bit more it's a little bit thicker uh, than games workshops uh non oil so it actually gives a hell of a lot better um darker effect on the model for you to work with and then uh uh, you know, it's it's just a bit of a heavier shade, and I just like it. It's it's a, a very very good alternative uh, to null oil, and I actually get better results out of it. So, highly recommend people getting that and trying it out, um, and let me know how they get on with it compared to null oil. Um, but once you actually get used to it, as I said, I don't use null oil anymore for for black washing. I literally this is my go to, and it's amazing. Um, and it's really easy to work with and work uh, on models. The drying time's pretty quick as well, so it's uh, it's it's on on par with Games Workshop drying times for washes and those sorts of things. So you're not going to be waiting around forever, um, waiting for your model to dry. Um, and they do a, a lot more. Um, what I'd say, kind of environmentally coloured. Um, washes as well rather than kind of crazy luminous green washes which games workshop stuff's great for um they also do um kind of browns and a lot more greens and and sepia tones as well so worth checking them out uh next time you're down on a hobby store um just to sort of see exactly what army paint arranges uh, i wouldn't go crazy with their paints their paints are okay um at best then they're, they're not my cup of tea but um as far as as actually their washes they're superb really really enjoy working with them and uh um once i actually got used to them um i haven't really looked back as i said okay so that's the model completely um worked over with the the black wash um what we're now going to do um while that's drying is uh and i my I, I haven't gone over this as well in this video the base i've just uh base coated after the prime in a brown dryad bark this is just in preparation for me actually using the agrelin badlands um paint texture paint on the base as well um because we're going to be putting this through um and uh giving it a nice sandy colored base um to tie in just to give you an idea of, of what it's going to be looking like when it's finished this is a finished necron model um, with the same same processes that i'm doing at the moment here 
um, but just looking at the base and the cracked amount on the base, if you don't give it a coat of brown underneath, black will show through, which isn't such a bad thing sometimes, but having a bit of brown coming through, um, it's just a bit more natural for me on these on these uh, sandy colored bases. So yeah, um, you know, looking at, at the, 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 the two at the moment, you wouldn't believe that this can be turned into this, but I'm gonna show you how to. Um, cool, we're gonna wait for all of this to dry for five minutes, and then uh, I'll come back and we can start using that contrast on the bone color, and uh, then we can start getting all the blue blocked in as well and, and go from there. Okay, so most of this is, is dry, pretty much 99% dry now, so just a little bit of the, the wash in the, in the really deepest crevices is still a little bit tacky. So I'm gonna crack on. Um, I'm gonna use some uh, contrast paint, uh, which is called Skeleton Horde. This is just gonna do some do some work for me on the, uh, on the bone side of things um, on the model, just because it's super, super quick, super easy, and it's got great, great uh, finishing up um, detailing on there as well. So I'm just literally gonna just liberally apply this all over the uh, bone side of things just to give me a nice bone texture just to get into all of the crevices and I'm then going to work up traditionally um, from this once it's it's given me this to start with so I'm just going to apply this in you can kind of see that it fits nicely into all of the crevices it's a, it's a super good paint. I enjoy skeleton um, horde uh, over wraith bone. It's, it's got a good good uh, good finish to it. So we're going to leave that to, to dry. While that's drying, we're actually going to get the airbrush out and just do a little bit of work with the airbrush on the uh, OSL from the gun um, and give the gun a good paint. I'm using Kaledor Sky Air Paint and I'm just gonna throw this into the airbrush with a little bit of thinner. I'm trying to find my thinner, wherever it is. It's over here. Okay, I use just a, this is just my little little uh, pot of airbrush thinner. Um, again, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on the airbrush in today, but uh, I put a couple of drops into the airbrush. I'm using an Iwata Neo, just a super simple, quick, cheap, uh, airbrush. Um, I'm just going to be applying maybe three drops into the airbrush. Um, I am then going to mix it with a little bit of that thinner uh, that I've still got left in there. Um, I do that by either put my finger on the end of the nozzle and you can hear that mixing in there. Um, and then I'm just going to give that a little spray through see that that blue is coming through and i'm just going to give it a little bit of a spray over the gun area just to give that a little bit you'll see there's a tiny little smidge around his hand just giving that impression of a little bit of blue um that's pretty much it that's what i'm going to do with the blue at the moment is just give that impression of of light coming off of it um i'm going to go a little bit deeper with uh some of the color shortly once this is dry and just run a little bit of uh brighter lotham blue in there but as far as that goes looking pretty good i'm just going to obviously every time you wash your airbrush uh, or or use something put a little bit more thinner in there um, and give it a good clean out. Um, I, I get my, my uh, airbrush, get an old brush and just give it a good old work over in there, get most of that paint out uh, and then spray the rest of it either out or you can actually spray this into one of the special containers that they produce. Uh, I just give this a little bit of a another clean out. I, I like to try and take care of my airbrushes as much as possible so uh so they again last me has a long time and i'm just going to get rid of the rest of that blue and put thinner through it till there's no blue coming out so that i know it's back to being clean again 
it's always a good habit to get into, making sure you airbrush, there you go. A little bit still coming out. Awesome. Okay, so that's that's the airbrush work done. Um, and then as far as as everything else goes, um, I'm once that's dry, I'm gonna run a little bit of Lotherm Blue in there. Um, while this is uh, drying up, um, you can get back on again and give the model a very gentle dry brush. Of, and yeah, I've just got a big fat brush and just gonna give this a little bit of a pick up on some of the edges. Just brings out, it can get a little bit dull um, with the black wash um, when you uh, you work with it. So I'm just gonna be using this just to pick out a little bit more of the silver. You don't, don't need a lot. It just, just gives it a little bit less matte of a finish and a little bit more of the on the silver side of things. Um, okay, so now that the uh, uh, the skeleton hoard has actually dried on here and on the bone, we're gonna go back with another little bit of uh, wraith bone and uh, put a little bit of this on there. Um, but we're gonna be a little bit more detailed with this now. We're just gonna be putting this on the edges um, and really kind of using this uh, more of like a a, 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 a more positioned uh, dry brush on there um, just to start picking out the edges of the of the bone side of things and especially on the face as well just the teeth and around the eyes um, and also sort of any edges on the okay so all I've done after that is uh, just painted up um, some agrallon Badlands and the Grelin Earth onto the base and got that on there while I'm waiting for everything else to dry. Um, and then I'm gonna go back over with some thin down uh, Lothurn Sky again and just run this into the uh, power area of the, uh, the gun and get that all looking pretty sweet. Uh, just got to be careful while doing this that you don't put your fingers on the uh, on the base while that's drying. But again, just running that through. That's that's the kind of power finish you end up with on the uh, on the gun. Um, I've also uh, while that was drying, just ran a little bit of red, um, the uh, contrast blood angels red into the eyeballs of the. Uh, of the the face mask there got that ready to go um and this is pretty much me good i'm i'm pretty happy with this this for tabletop purposes once this dries is going to be awesome i'm going to give this a couple of hours to dry now on the base and then we'll come back and just finish it up but as far as getting this done in half an hour yeah easy peasy you can do this in sort of 20 minutes um and it, again you could probably knock out a unit of 20 of these in an hour Okay, so with the base now completely dry, you can see on there the difference between the Agrellon Badlands and the Agrellon Earth. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, of uh, bubbling there, a bit of cracking with the Agrellon Earth, and the Agrellon Badland gives it this kind of nice texture here. Um, and I'm literally just going to finish off the model now um, by um giving it a quick dry brush with a reasonable reasonable brush not anything major the dry brush that i'm actually going to give to on this is this terminator stone uh, it's a great great natural color i really like this and um it's quite a thick pigment um of a, a dry brush so you've got to work it a little bit i always with my dry brush paints um always squeeze a little bit of vallejo um thinner into it to give it a little bit more le uh, life because it really does dry out very very quickly so i'm just going to give uh, this a little bit of a dry brush This is probably going to need a little bit more pigment. 
on here. And again, the dry brushes are so pigment heavy, you shouldn't really need a lot, but I, I work it on here and, uh, and give it a good, there you go, picking it out. Just give it, just gives that texture, the earth, the sandy kind of color, a little bit more depth and just a little bit more. If you can kind of see that there, you can kind of tell it's uh, pretty good. And then what I do is I finish it off with some tufts um, from Army Painter. And these uh, Army Army Painter tufts are really, really cool. They come on a, on a uh, bit of paper. And all you really need to do is grab your super glue, um, which I am trying to find at the moment where my super glue went, and a pair of tweezers. And again, I'm trying to find where my tweezers are. There they are. Okay, found the tweezers. But can't find, oh, there's the super glue. There you go. Okay, super glue, simple super glue, Loctite, super glue, gel control. Uh, you can get this at any hardware store at all. Really, really good. I like the gel. I prefer the gel than any other super glue because it does, it's a little bit more controlled uh, when you put it on. Um, I'm literally just going to dab this on two places. Um, one and two. And then I'm going to get my tweezer and just pick out two of these tufts and plop on one and then grab another one off here and put it on the front and there you go good to go and then I'm just to actually finish off all of these necrons that I've painted I actually grab some um, Abaddon Black Abaddon Black, Abaddon Black, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm just going to give this a quick, uh, just a little bit of paint and then run the black paint around the edge just to finish this off. Just to tidy it up because with all of the Agrelin earth and everything else that we've put on here just to just to tidy it up and I literally just run this around the edge of them and there you have it finished up Necron Warrior and all in all it took me about it took me less than half an hour painting time you have to wait for the base to dry a little bit more um, but apart from that it is completely finished and you can replicate it across all of the different models in the Necron line um, and uh, kind of go crazy. But once you actually get that remedy and uh, roll it across the army, it looks looks pretty rocking. So yeah, hope that's been helpful. Um, any questions, anything I've missed, please feel free to leave a comment on the video. Um, and if you found it helpful, please like and subscribe, share, whatever you want to do with it. And I'll be back on Friday with another a tip video and I will speak to you then. Cheers, bye.